When you think of a football club in video games, you might think of someone who will shield the team or who will heal it. The medic in TF2 is the definition of the support class. He lives and dies for his team. He is an asset insanely valuable when it comes to make push or to keep some pressure on the enemies. He is an amazing pick in almost any situations. But what is a medic exactly? Well, the medic is a class who focuses mostly on healing his team. He stays in the back usually and he push when he supercharges his food. His job is to keep his team alive and to make sure the way back to spawn or to some healing pack. He is here to basically help the team to move forward, to destroy some nests, and to take less damage or to have to run less away. So, the medic have one main mechanic, which is supercharge. So, when I say one mechanic, I mean here are four types of supercharge, who each have one specific role. So, the main one is a period of invisibility on him and the person he pocket. It's basically the overcharge of the stock medicine you will have when you start to play medic. The second one comes from the crit screen. It focuses mostly on willpower by giving some crits to the person who will be healed. For the third one, it's the quick fix. It focuses on a faster regeneration and is mostly used to follow soldiers or demos who will rocket jump and who will be able to bring in with them. Finally, the fourth one is called Vaccinator. His purpose is to shield against one resistance. You can switch between three of them, bullets, explosive damage, and fire. You can also shield one and switch to another and like this, having two resistance up at the same time. For example, versus a soldier, you could just put the rocket resistance on the shield and switch to the bullet resistance to completely nullify his damage and he would have to switch to melee range to kill you which is bad for me but how to play it you just basically run on the heavy and stick to it to hit it well not exactly as i said before the medic is a great asset to the team you can be a game changer with it but you need to know how to play it. It's basically not that hard. You need to know two main things when it comes to play medic. The first one is you can't only heal one person. It's called being a pocket medic and even if on the paper it is good, you will probably destroy the enemy team. Your team might hate you for it if you let them die in front of you because you don't want to step aside from your pocket or to heal someone else. Being medic doesn't mean being selfish on the hill. You need to share them with all of your teammates. The second important thing to know about playing medic is it requires a good game sense placement. You need to know where to go and to know that you can't run in front of the person you're healing. As a medic, the risk can be rewarded, but most of the time, since you, you are very squishy, basically, you will die easily. So, don't try to play the hero, and a good medic is a medic who is alive, not dead. So, should we cheer up or hate the medic now? Because, I mean, if he's selfish, it should be fine to insult him, right? Well, not exactly. For the person who are mad at the medic, I will just say to them, screw you. You should always be happy to have a medic in your team. It doesn't matter if he's new or very experienced at it. A medic will heal the team and if he is lost, you can just teach him how to move, how to play. If you are an experienced player, 
you can bring him with you if you are good enough to make the kills and he will have a good time because he will know he is useful. Just say to him he is doing a great job and his team will be better and he will know his team care about him and his efforts. So he will be happy, he will do a better job, etc. Always try to cheer up the medic in your team if you don't play it. If you don't, I mean, it's very important to 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 try to not be a dick toward medic players because they could just take something else instead of dedicating the world gameplay at playing a support class. And if you are a medic who is kind of new or you see a good player in your team, feel free to ask him some questions to to forget him basically because if you know he will do a great job you can also heal him and help him to increase his full potential to his fullest. Now here is some like medic strats and tips I guess. First of all, if you play medic, try to play with someone who basically know how to play uh, a good DPS class. So uh, if you have in your family so, some good soldiers, demos, heavy pilots, try to bring them with you because playing medic alone is always uh, very frustrating for the person who somehow know how to play medic. Because he will rely on his team and he will not be able to communicate uh, efficiently enough to make some good push suddenly. And you can also be creative when you go medic. Being a healer doesn't mean you can't do some damage. For example, a popular playstyle among medics is called battle medic. You can go with it and focus more on the damage aspect of the medic than on his healing aspect. So you can run a syringe gun and um, an ibuso and the stock medigan for example and like this to just go and attack the enemies. You can also go with another medic and do what we call an ibuso chain aka like chaining zebra charge. And it's really fun to play but as soon as you will came across a good pyro it will it will fail because I will know how to blast you and you will not be able to kill him. But yeah those are basically few ideas on how to play medic out of the main pass and still have fun with it. But the best way to play medic is to bring some friends with you. It's always fun and it's the best way to play it. I hope this video will help you to play Medic, to improve at it, or at least to understand it just a little for new players.